According to the Associated Press, an increase in accidents killing or injuring pedestrians over the last decade has led to infrastructure changes around the country. But the right turn on red law has stayed, and our Adrian Carbohal has more on the issues that come along with it. According to the Associated Press, the United States is one of the few countries that generally allows right turns on red. This has been the case since the 70s, with officials concerned that cars idling at stoplights could add to the energy crisis. Although vehicle pedestrian accidents on right turn on red aren't common in Rapid City, officials have seen this issue occur due to a variety of distractions. There could be, you know, distracted drivers messing with the radios, playing on their phones, anything like that. There's also sometimes at night that there's crosswalks that aren't lit up, um, and then just making sure everyone slows down and, and paying attention. And while officials continue to urge the public to stay safe, it's also on the pedestrians to make sure that they are taking the necessary precautions, especially on busy intersections such as these. It can be a responsibility of the driver and the pedestrian. Um, again, make sure you're clearing the intersections before you proceed through it, uh, making sure that the pedestrians actually look both left and right, make sure you're wearing proper clothing at night, um, you know, stuff that's illuminating or reflective. Cities like Washington, D.C. and Chicago are starting to implement right on red bands or restrictions starting in the near future, and we may start to see even more cities follow suit. In Rapid City, I'm Adrian Carball.